Hello, um, this tutorial is to help you uninstall your regular hard drive on your PS3 and install Intel Solid State Drive. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this, you want to flip over your PlayStation 3, and for my tutorial I'm using a PlayStation 3 Slim. <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do is, is go ahead and flip your PlayStation 3 over and you'll see this little nub right here. You want to go ahead and lift it up move it out of the way and you'll see that there's a screw there. You're going to need a smaller Phillips screwdriver to do this. What you want to do is, is go ahead and unscrew this screw that's in here and for some reason the screw that's in mine is blue. I don't know if your guys' is the same way. But... Right, go ahead and take that screw out. And you'll notice that right here, you can move, pull this to the left, and it'll come out. It's a little front little frame. <clears throat> and you'll notice that you have a little thing that you can pull out, so you can pull out the hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. You'll notice that here is the regular hard drive. Mine's a Toshiba 120 gigabyte hard drive. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and you'll notice that there's four screws that you need to unscrew to take out this hard drive. So go ahead and unscrew these four screws. So once you got it, all the four screws out, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take out the regular hard drive. You're going to want to install the Intel Solid State Drive. So to, ins to install it, go ahead and just put it in there and go ahead and align the screws. Go ahead and screw in the screws, these four screws. You have the four screws installed on your Intel Solid State Drive. You can go ahead and put it back in slot on the PlayStation 3. Go ahead and just slide it in and push it in all the way. Once it's in, you want to go ahead and take this bracket that's off the off that was off the front and go ahead and re-put it on. And install the screw. And go ahead and install it in. And you're ready to go. And I also made a tutorial of how to install the PlayStation 3 software. You can go ahead and go to that tutorial to show you how to do that.